everyone, this is Jackie Williams and welcome to another global video hop. This month we are focusing on clean and simple cards and I decided to use the fun Whimsical Trees stamp set. I thought the feeling of these images and these dies was perfect for a clean and simple card. And we're going to use these dies, which I thought were quite funny when I first opened them. They're like little trees on a stick, but they are quite adorable. I've done a little research for this video and a clean and simple card is defined by a card that has some empty space so that your eyes can rest. But that doesn't mean that it can't feature some pretty fun techniques. So we're starting with a piece of basic white and this is cut at four and five eighths by four and five eighths square. And we're gonna do a little bit of masking. So you'll wanna use grid paper so that you can be sure that your paper is straight. So when you put on your mask, they're also straight and your uh, inked portions are not going at an angle. You'll see what I mean here shortly. So I've got it lined up here against this top line. And then I've used two post-it, two smaller or standard size post-it notes to create a mask that's long enough to fit the length of my card. And using the grid paper lines, I'm just gonna line it up with this line. Then I'm gonna count over five squares, one, two, three, four, five, and put on the second mask. So I'm only leaving exposed this uh, approximately one inch of cardstock. Now, once your mask is in place, you're ready to put on your ink. And I'm gonna use a blending brush and I'll be using the Fresh Freesia ink. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit onto the brush. And I always like to do a little bit on my scrap paper first, just so I don't get a blob where I don't want it. And first I'm just gonna put on an, an even light layer of color. Then I'm gonna go back and add some depth. Now I'm going to choose to put a little bit darker ink along the right hand side. You could choose to do more of an ombre look from top to bottom or bottom to top or along both sides. Then from there, I'm going to bring in one of our decorative masks and I'm going to use the polka dot one because it's quite fun and goes well with the feel of this stamp set. Now I'm just going to go again, just go over it lightly so I get light dots all over. And then just go once like over again, a little more heavy on the right hand side. Now, before I pull that mask off, we're going to do one more technique. I'm going to use my Versamark, and I apologize at the state of my Versamark, but this is also a technique where you probably don't want to get your brand new one out. And I'm just going to press Versamark through that mask so it ends up on exactly those dots that you just inked. And then we're ready to pull away all of our masks. Now to make use of the Versamark, I'm gonna use my white powder, but I don't want solid white dots. I'm just going to actually take my fingers and just sprinkle some white powder over the dots. So we're just getting a bit of embossing powder and then we'll heat that. And there we go. And then we've got this effect of the polka dots with just some little bits of white in through the fresh freesia. So now let's mount that up onto our fresh freesia mat and this mat is approximately four and three quarters by four and three quarters inches squared. Now, before we put that on our card front, I wanna add our trees. So I've cut those fun, whimsical trees on the sticks. We're just gonna put those on. And the two taller, thinner ones, I'm gonna put down flat with a bit of glue. And I'll put one about right here. And then I'll put this one just a little bit lower. And then this larger one, I'm gonna put on dimensionals. This is where your little dimensionals are, are quite useful. And this one's gonna go the lowest and I'll put it in the middle overlapping the other two. Now, then you just take your scissors and trim off the ends of those. And then we'll put this on our card front with dimensionals. Now our card base is five by 10 inches. So when it's scored and folded in half, it is five inches square as the finished card size. 
Now then, in the stamp set, they have these lovely words, and this one says, let your heart beat light, which I thought was quite nice for a Christmas card, just something a little bit different. And I've cut that out with the Christmas labels dies and stamped it in fresh freesia. And then we're just gonna put that underneath, centered underneath the trees with dimensionals. So this is holding down our tree stems. So you d that's why I didn't bother with um, sticking them down earlier. For some embellishments, I'm going to use the subtle shimmer sequins. And I find it's easiest to put down a dot of glue onto your project first, decide where they're gonna go. And then you can just drop the sequins on top of the glue. Now, I'll show you the inside of the card in a moment, but first I wanna show you how you can make an envelope for this card to match. So I have here just a sheet of A4 paper and along the long side, I've scored it at three inches and eight and a quarter inches. And then I've rotated this way and I've scored it at one inch and six and a quarter inches. And that leaves us a square in the middle that is five and a quarter inches square. Now our card is five inches, so that gives you just that little bit of breathing room for layers so your card doesn't get too squished. And then where I have scribbled out the corners, you'll wanna just cut those four corners away. And then you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. And then it's just a matter of adhering the back together, adhering up the bottom, and then this is your top flap. Now, if you wanna stamp on the envelope, you probably will wanna do that before you fold it up. And then you can do something decorative on the flap as well. So let me show you one that I have all finished. I did this one earlier, and this one is in Blushing Bride. And then on the inside, you can just continue that masking, maybe not, not as extensive as on the front. Although I think after, now that I've done this, I think I would do the vertical and then do this partial one also vertical just to repeat um, the same lines. And then you can stamp um, the joy on the inside with Blushing Bride. And then on the flap, I just did some more of the inking and then a little bit of the polka dots as well so that you've got the uh, envelope matching your card. Now I do have a few other samples just to um, share with you. This is one that I actually made first. I wasn't overly happy with it. So I went for something that looked completely different, but it's the same concept of masking. And then this time I actually stamped while I still had the post-it notes on and then used the trees. And this one is using the mountain air bundle. And this card is using the snowflakes um, dies that we have out. And this is using the Be Dazzling glitter paper where I've die cut it with the snowflake die. And then I have spritzed it with Flirty Flamingo ink and water so that it dyes that uh, Be Dazzling glitter paper pink. And then this is another sample. And this is using the You're a Peach bundle or Sweet as a Peach Sweet is what it's called. And it's a beautiful, just simple card with the branches done in the gold foil and then the little flowers that are in that set scattered throughout. So I hope you enjoy this and give some clean and simple cards a try and enjoy the rest of the hop. And while you're here, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join me. Thank you, bye-bye.